Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I'm gonna show you how to add in a sky to your photo in Photoshop. Now to start, I've loaded up a picture that I like that has a big white sky in the background. Um, and so I wanna add in a sky before I do the rest of my editing here. So in order to do that, you need to have a photo of a sky and you can get one in a number of ways. There are sky overlays all over the internet that you can purchase. I'm sure that there's some for free. Um, or you can just take a picture of the sky when you notice it looking really cool, snap a photo, keep it in a folder, and then start collecting um, a collection of your own skies to use later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a photo of a sky that I have, and I'm going to go to Select All, and then edit, copy. Then I'm gonna go back over to my photo that I want to put the sky into. And I'm going to go back up to edit and then click paste. Okay. Now this photo isn't the same size, so I'm going to go back to edit and select free transform. This is gonna allow me to change the size to make it fit my original photo. So I'm just going to drag that down there and there and then drag it up so it's about at the horizon line where I'd like it to be. And I'm going to double click to place it. Okay. Now you can see this does not look natural at all. It's covering her face. It's very dark. It doesn't fit with the rest of the picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that layer is selected and I'm going to bring the opacity down just like that. Okay. Now with skies, naturally, they are whiter and lighter at the horizon line. So if you just went through and painted carefully along the mountain's edge and along her head and left it all that the same, um, that, that same brightness um, and that same intensity, that's not going to look natural because that's not how skies look. Um, there is a transition from light to dark within the sky. And so to make that look natural in our photo, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the layer mask right there on our sky. I'm going to make sure black is chosen over on the left hand toolbar. I'm going to come up and select the gradient tool. And when I do that, you're going to get a selection at the top of the different gradients to choose from. You're going to pick the first one, which is the linear gradient. We're going to come to the center of our picture. I'm going to left click and drag it up. And you're probably going to drag it up quite a bit, but it, it may depend on the picture you're working on. And that looks pretty good there. I see um, if you're noticing that there still is a little bit of sky in your subject or in your background, you might just take and drag it up a little bit more um, until you get it to looking where, where you would like it to be. So I might keep dragging a couple times. Oh, I like that there. That one looks pretty natural and you can see it's lighter on the bottom and a little bit darker on the top which is okay and then you can play around with the opacity if you want to make your sky a little bit darker you can do that or if you want to bring it back down you can do that too but that's it that's how easy it is to put in a sky overlay so you give it a try I hope you learned a little something and I'm going to link below to a lot more Photoshop tutorials and photography tips so you can click that link and take a look. Um, I'd love if you'd subscribe to the Cozy Clicks channel and thanks so much for watching.